So should we should we tell people some of the things that are in version three point two, or should should we leave them to be like a surprise? I mean, you can, uh, it's up to you. I don't know what would people want. Just talking. Do about people do people want to know? Do you want to be surprised? I feel like I feel like it's stuff that's good to talk through. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I feel well, like I don't. I don't. I don't know that it's good surprise stuff. There's just nines in the chat. I've no beef with a nine. Okay, I can get on board yeah. with a nine. I'm a. T I'm gonna. I'm gonna type a nine in chat as well. As soon as I remember how to type in chat. There we go. There's a nine. I'm joining the nine crew. What's happening? <laughs> just. Just a nine. So, yeah. so do we want to see some of the stuff that's in three point two? Some of the stuff that we can look forward to, and some of the yeah, some of the stuff on. that we may be able to try on the stream unless it goes on on fire. Yeah, fire. Yeah, give it, give it a go. Swoosh. What a noise! <laughs> Is that in the game? That's not in the game. I made that noise. I made that noise with my mouth. Okay. Yeah. So, so the first thing is that we've got this new little updates, update notes um, thing. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what to call it, really. Um, but it tells you, it tells you all about all of the things that we've added in each of the patches. Yeah, yeah. Which is quite nice, because, you know, if you remember the old patch notes things, it was just like, it was just a big load of text. It was just so much wall of text. It was so much yeah. wall of text. It was it was all the text in the world. So um, now you at least have like text with pictures. Text with pictures. Text with pictures. And we've also uh, we've got previous updates here. So look at this. This is all of the updates that we've already done from the past. And you can click on those, and it takes you to the the, the Steam um, patch notes for those. Yeah. Georgie looked very surprised when you like when you clicked on that, like in in a good way. It's nice, isn't it? He's he's got a nice like he's, he's got a nice. scrolly boy. He's got some pictures. Yeah. You can reminisce about when the game didn't have uh, that many features. <laughs> when it had nothing in it. <laughs> so we've got this nice new thing to show you off the updates. We've got a nice little central repository for all the previous updates. Um, we've got pirate avatars. So I'll let me make this larger. There we go. So you'll see this. Are you going backwards through this? I am going backwards. I'm saying yeah. I've got I've got an okay. order in my head. Thank you very much, Alex. Okay. Go on. Go on. Um. So we've got little pirate avatars on the device client. So when you uh, are required to choose a pirate, so uh, if you are picking someone in an event or if you're picking someone in a vote, you get a cute little circle with a little pirate face in it. Yeah. Can't can't it's go wrong. Just, it's it's just a little picture of your pirate, you know. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of piratey personality. And other other words that begin with P. Yeah. Only good words that begin with P, you understand. Um, we have a new tutorial. The tutorial is very cool. Um, the tutorial, I feel like it's like your little baby, Alex. I mean. Yeah, unless it goes on fire, then I blame everything on, I don't know, you or Pav or someone. So the the tutorial uh, is a guided game of Paper Pirates where the captain pops in every so often and uh, talks you through what's going on. Um, so mm -hmm. talks you through all the key rules, like uh, how does voting work, why, how does playing in work, um, what do events do, when do people become ghosts, and so on and so forth. Um, and... I mean, maybe depending on how the stream goes, maybe we'll play through the tutorial. But I, 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 I most people here are vets, so we might not need to. But it's hopefully yeah. um, a really, really fun, uh, fun way for people to learn how to play Paper Pirates and to really uh, get in touch with some of those, some of those more esoteric rules that maybe not everyone knows. So things like the fact that the mm. more votes that you cast makes you more likely to become a ghost. Some of that sort of stuff that's not kind of immediately obvious. Um, from your yeah. first few games. We also have the uh, Watch a Pirate feature. This one's really interesting. Um, so the Watch a Pirate feature makes your uh, team and your secret objective or your trait public on the on the screen. 
Um, so the use case for this, the thing that we expect this to be used for really is multi-streamers um, and people using spectate mode because as you do, uh, as you spectate games, you can watch your own individual pirates. So essentially you can choose a pirate, you can say to watch the pirate and then you get a confirmation on your device where you can say yes or no. Um, and then all of your information becomes public. So hopefully for people who, who stream paper pirates, who use spectator mode, who, uh, who, who want to share with their community, you know, what their team is, uh, what their secret objective is and what their trait is, um, but don't necessarily play with their community. Hopefully that's a new way to do that. That's, that's something that's a little bit experimental. Mm. Yeah, because we, we've seen people in the past um, comment on videos or streams being like, this would be more clear if we knew what your team was. Yeah. So it it essentially fixes that problem. Yeah, exactly. Bit of an adventure. We will we will see. It's quite cool. It's quite cute. And I, I really love mm -hmm. that it puts your little pirate avatar in the corner as well. Pirate avatar is yeah. really cute. And then we have two and a half new traits. Two and a half. Two and a half new traits. So, uh, the first of those is the Shapeshifter. Mm -hmm. The Shapeshifter is uh, the first of the new traits added in 3.2. The Shapeshifter has the ability to swap their team. So they can go from human to ghost or from ghost to human, but they can only do that three times per voyage and they can only do it on days when they don't play in. Which is kind of the... the clincher with that. It, it feels like you should just be able to wait until the end of a game and then just be like, ah, I'm going to be a ghost because I think ghosts are going to win, but why do you, you get picked for the job? You've got to get it right, but also, you need to make sure you're not in the job, and the only way you can not be in a job for definite is by being the stowaway, at which point you lose anyway, so it all just kind of balances out. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's quite a lot of fun, um, you know, and it, it, it really lets you it lets you do a lot of really fun, quirky things, and it interacts with mm. some events in really fun ways as well. Um, so seems impressed by three. <laughs> we will we will see how that goes. We we we've had a lot of fun with it. I like the shapeshifter. Yeah. And the second new trait is the interrogator. Um, the interrogator is. Uh, a counter for something that I'm going to say in a minute. I probably should have done these in a slightly different order. Um, the interrogator, like the shapeshifter and like the wishful, has uh, an action that they can take on days when they don't play in. And again, they can only do this three times. They can only conduct three interrogations. But the interrogator can choose uh, a pirate, choose a crewmate, uh, choose a particular trait, and they will be told whether their guess, their combination was correct. So if mm -hmm. Alex was the interrogator, he might say, I think Matteo is the cursed. And the information he will receive back is, yes, Matteo is the cursed, or no, Matteo is not the cursed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you kind of have to know a little bit, you know, and you've only got three of these. And again, you can only use them on days when you don't play in. So you have to be a little mm -hmm. bit skillful about it. But it also gives you that ability to do... <sighs> Thing is, I say a hard confirm of a trait. It's a hard confirm of a trait to the interrogator. But of course, yeah. like all of the traits, your interrogator could be a ghost. Yeah. So you can only really trust, you know, do I believe what the interrogator is saying to people? Mm -hmm. uh, noob, shapeshifting is secret. Shapeshifting is secret and interrogation is secret. Lexente asks, do the twins count as two different traits? Uh, so you would need to interrogate someone specifically as the younger twin or the older twin. You can't just interrogate someone as twins. So, yeah. so yes, they essentially count as two different traits. So again, there could be some really interesting stuff here with people trying to burn the interrogator's interrogations. Um, people trying to, to pass off that they've, you know, interrogated someone as something. And again, that, that always that thing of the traits, they could go either way. You could be a human, you could be a ghost. We've had mm -hmm. a lot of fun mm -hmm. with the interrogator. The interrogator is, is very sneaky. It's a great trait mm -hmm. to be. And the, the point five is, uh, is the disguised. So I, d I don't think this one will come as any huge surprise to anyone. Um, I think people have seen this on the cards for a while. Mm. Um, and this is that we have extended the Disguised's power um, so that whenever the Disguised team is revealed through an event, uh, through any of the traits, their team is always flipped. 
So if you have a census, if you have a spy, um, whatever that is, it will be flipped for the disguised. Um, which is one of the reasons that we wanted to add the interrogator, because obviously you, you need something to kind of hard confirm or deconfirm whether someone's the disguised or not. Yeah, which used to be just anything other than the psychic, so now that that's changed, um, yeah. Noop asks, what is the minimum time for the window to interrogate? So all of this takes place during playing in, so you essentially have as long as it takes the crew to play in. Which means that uh, if you're if you're out, if you're a vocal interrogator, you might want to encourage people to play in a little bit slower so you can conduct an interrogation. Mm -hmm. If you're keeping it secret, you need to be swifty. Is swifty a word? Did I just make up a word? You need to be swift. <laughs> I mean, time to spam obey then. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's that's something we're still playing around with a little bit, um, but we will we will see yeah. how we go. We will see how we we go. So MV says if you've got all humans and a disguise and sentence comes up, it would say there is one ghost. Yes, that is correct. Yeah, which is really hard. We were playing it the other day, but it's it's like a fun hard. It's like. It's you a real really challenge. Have to trust people. It's a real yeah. challenge. Um, disguise now is like you know, the 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 way that games play out is you go in and like everyone's like, well, I'm the disguised. Yeah. Edge says, does an interrogator get an infinite ability, or is it limited to a certain number? Three, three interrogations per voyage. And once they're all used up, no more interrogatoring for you. Interrogatoring is not a word. It is it is not. Decidedly not. So there we go. I know how to use Paper Pirate Spot. I haven't I haven't told Paper Pirate Spot about any of these new traits, by the way. Yeah, people were trying to uh, trying to find them out before you got to them before. <laughs> No, Edge. You you only get uh, penalised for your you only get charged for your interrogation if it goes through, um, and your the result of your interrogation is listed in your black spot, so you can check it at any point between your last interrogation and your next interrogation. Yeah, so it's not like it gets cut off by people playing in. So we probably should play a game rather than just listening to we me say should. words, you know. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I, you know, I enjoy saying words. As nice as the words are. So, so just, just because we're here and because we can see it, there's a little mm -hmm. tutorial island here. This is where the tutorial be. We won't play the tutorial just now, but it is there. <laughs> um. I've forgotten what my preset is called, so I'm just going to make a new one. Yeah. The the preset might not have um, the new traits in it anyway. Oh, no, it does. It does. So, for this first one, I don't want to specifically make sure the new traits will appear, because that would involve taking some of the old ones out. I don't want to start kind of getting into that, that thought process of like, well, which ones are we going to take out? Which ones are we going to leave in? Just want to leave it, you know, up to chance. See what happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what do we do? We normally do two to three ghosts, don't we? I'm just going to yeah. maybe just have... There we go. I will I will shorten the game slightly so that hopefully we can get a few more games in rather than having, you know, fewer longer games. And then hopefully we'll see all of the traits. All of the new traits. Question is, have I connected this to the test server? I haven't, I've just realized. No. Oh. I know what I'm doing. Back you go. Back I go. Oh, I didn't save that preset either. Oh. Oh, but that's oh, I could have I could have just used the last custom setting. Yes. Yeah. 
However, I've already started configuring a new one. Well, they're saying that. I'm not sure whether the last... I I, I can't actually remember. Um, in fairness, I also forgot to set it to Crew's Choice. Saying that, no, you went into the lobby. Yeah, it will have, it will have saved in the last custom. Never right, mind. there we go. That's better. Okay, let me get the room code for me and you, Alex. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm in. I am also in. And we are on the test server today, so make sure you are visiting the... Uh, oh, I should have changed it to say the test server URL. Never mind. I'll do that next game. <clears throat> so we are on uh, the the test server. And anyone who, can, who would like to join is very welcome. I'm going to reveal the room code and put the link to join in the chat in five, four... Three, two, one. There it is. It's UK UI. UK UI. United Kingdom user interface. What? United Kingdom user interface. That's the one. <laughs> Don't let my phone go to sleep. Ah! All's well. All's well. We've got one space left if anyone wants to grab that. Remind me to change the message at the top of the screen, Alex, before the next game. Might. Alright, don't mind. <laughs> Not on purpose, you understand. The porn hat is from playing a trait game. Mm -hmm. The porn is the symbol of trait games. We're not entirely certain why. We just we, we discussed it, we discussed for a while why like what symbol could represent trade games, and uh, the, the the pawn just felt right. Strategic chess like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That. Oh. So as always, I'll give people a minute or two to customise their pirates. Once you're ready, if you can hit the uh, Are You Ready button for me, that will give you a green tick on the lobby. And then once I've got a green oh, tick from everyone, uh, we can go ahead and start. There are skirts. We just don't own them. Nobody, nobody has asked us to purchase them. And so we have not done so. We can probably have a little trip to the shop ship. We I have, in fairness, got quite a few um, PP coins saved up. Uh, PP coins. I'm trying to make PP coins a thing. I'm pretty sure I, I wrote them down in like an official text the other day as well, so they might officially yeah. be called PP coins now. Okay. Oh, I need to remember to click the little treasure chest in Twitch. No, Tempe, not like that. <laughs> Like paper pirates coins, you understand. I need to rename the little um, the little Twitch currency thing to PP coins. Mm. I think it's. I think. I think uh, it's, yeah. I think it's more fun. Oh, everyone's ready. Awesome. Right, let's go. Everyone's ready. Oh wait, Lexen. No, everyone's ready. We've got Captain Noop. We've got Navigator Insatiable D. We've got Gunner Alex. Oh, I'm not the stowaway for once. We've got Surgeon Chris Swan. Shipwright Lexente. Cooper MV. Cook Barrelman, Cabin Boy Matteo, and Stowaway Tempe. Everyone's claiming Interrogator, but quite interestingly, we haven't had the traits through yet. The world is a hungry <laughs> There's Mad been three claims for it already. <laughs> so they 
Brew him over, boy. I am not the interrogator. I'm not the interrogator. Although seemingly everyone is is very very keen to be the interrogator, which is already quite fun. Can I just say? Captain, you need to choose a job. So Noop is claiming interrogator. Edge is claiming the new secret trait barrel. Really? No, no, the new secret role. Secret barrel. role barrel. True, true. Yeah, you, human ghost barrel. So my trait will be revealed for me. I'm the assassin. Oh, okay. And I'm I'm the cabin boy, so it's not a particularly exciting place to be the assassin, but never mind. Yeah. You you need a little bit of um bit of a promotion. It's clear sailing. Oh, who shall I vote for? Or shall I just not vote for anyone? I think I, I don't think I know anything yet, so I'm, I'm not going to vote. I'm going to pass. I always like to chuck a, a cheeky little vote at you, but I'm just so high rank, I don't think it's a good idea. I, 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 I seem to be collecting votes. Yeah. I'm going overboard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I was human. The little avatar just looked too tempting, I guess. Poor top of the ship, Let's don't get see to see the new voting like. buttons. Soon, top of the ship, soon. Um, MV, that will depend on how well the stream goes. Mm -hmm. If we don't find any major problems, hopefully quite soon. Choose to obey or disobey. There's a disobey. Time for an event. Edge says psychic. What do you Come out of world or we'll assume there isn't one. I, I, I can't not I can't help but notice that everyone is being very unforthcoming in their traits. Hmm. So I think Noop is claiming that they, they were one of the disobeys there. Oh, I got to disobey until you threw me over. Oh, okay, okay. Which is interesting. <laughs> so, so, so Chris Swan says, I want to interrogate, don't pick me for jobs. That also means that if, if we've got a job where Chris Swan isn't playing in, we might want to give them a little bit more time to complete their interrogation. Hmm. If they actually are the interrogator. If they actually are the interrogator. Could very easily also be the shapeshifter. I'm not the tainted. I, I'm the assassin. I've already demonstrated that I'm the assassin. <laughs> I realise I can't continue to demonstrate the assassin while I'm the stowaway, but... Nah. Nah. The captain needs to choose a player to exercise. Let's if Sir Chris Swan really is the interrogator, it would be helpful to know that we have the interrogator on the human side. The captain has chosen yeah. a player to exercise. They are now definitely human. Oh, Noob's gone for MV there. Okay. Oh, look at all the pretty buttons. Sometimes the they're just too tempting. In that field, the more red they will glow. <laughs> they're too pretty now, I must click them. Oh. Yeah, I think that's a misclick as well. Mm, 
Mm, I'm a not vote. I'm a not vote. I very nearly voted for you, Matthew. Just, just for the sake I'm the of stowaway. It. Yeah, but it's, you know. But now who will bandage me leg? Right. I'm not sure it's about wooden. this. It's wooden anyway. Let's see what the audience thought. <laughs> Dave says, "Hey, look, no more mistakes." <laughs> What a coincidence. <laughs> the button worked. Mm. <laughs> just just have to test that one out. Need to choose a job. But that means that Chris Swan definitely won't be in a job today. So if they are the interrogator, they could conduct an interrogation. If yeah, we're yeah, suspicious. If, we're sus if we think we have a role in a pirate that we want to confirm. Choose to obey or disobey. Now. That did not feel like a lot of time to conduct an interrogation. Oh, oh! I have some information, but it's. Time oh, I'm not sure time. about my information what though. See on the yeah, I was thinking Alex was going to give you more time there, Chris. Oh, sorry, sorry. I was, I was thinking about my information. <laughs> What's your information? Oh, wait, no, what? Do you know my information? <gasps> oh. What? Why oh, do you no, just I keep don't. saying I have information and then nothing else? I I have possible information. Brilliant. I, I'm helpful. stuck. I'm stuck between two people. And right. I know the trait of one of them. For definite. I don't know which one it is though. Are you at the are you the interrogator? No. What's happening? I am the stowaway. I am a right twin. Place at the right time. Oh, the okay. With their captain. And I have seen my other twin go from ghost to human. Now, okay. Okay. No, you're not a twin. And the only other two people that could have had their team swapped are MV and Chris. Who were in rounds yeah, that yeah, that, that makes sense. That I This is why I was unsure. I was like, oh no, it's either Matthew or Chris. No, no, that's smart. Like, no, we know Matthew. But then I was like, oh no, again, because MV, MV could have had their... Um... Ah, MV's claiming that Chris is the twin. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay, this is good. We have a, a confirmed, um, well, we already have a confirmed human captain, but we now have a confirmed human gunner. I voted Ooh. you yesterday as well, Noop, actually. So the question is, who actually is the interrogator if we do have one? We may not have one. We may not have one. Or, in fairness... I don't know the traits of, like, most people. Because mm. I'm looking at this, and I guess we've got tw two twins. Let's see I'm the assassin. And I don't think I know anyone else. No. I don't think I've seen a... Captain, idol. You need to choose a job. Lexente has claimed innocent, that's true. Secure the rigging. Choose to obey or disobey now. Ah, uh, MV says that they're idle, which, I mean, they're playing in last. I could believe it. I don't know if I saw the timer reset, but... A wishful. Right, okay, so someone's wishful. Mm. 
Who so could it, it be? It's definitely not someone that played in that round. Could it be Tempe? It could be Tempe. It could be Noob. It's, it could it's be Noob. either Insatiable, Tempe, or Noob. It could, it could we very well be Noob. You. It could, it could absolutely be new. Who is always playing mm. it when something goes wrong? Can I please die? <laughs> but if Noob oh, is no. the wishful, why do they? Oh, because mm, they could be a ghost. I don't need to vote for anyone. I can just not vote. You say I don't need to vote and then vote for the captain. No, Noop voted for the captain. Why are there two votes for the captain? Bloodlust. Oh, of course. Oh. Um, I'm a I'm a not vote. I still don't. Hmm. I always mix up Bloodlust and Seeing Red, I think because we added them around the same time. Yeah, we did, it's true. Captain, you need to choose a job. <laughs> Release the captives from the brink. Choose to obey or disobey now. So this should put the test in Sashable D at least. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Time for an event, crew. What do you see on the horizon? They did pass that. Yeah, they did. Everyone, check your devices to vote for an event. I feel like Ghostly Whispers is the most useful here. Yeah. I feel like Ghostly Whispers has to be the most useful. We're gonna get it. It's Ghostly Whispers. So the first person to announce the the spread we know is human. Under the cover of night, ghosts can be heard whispering over the creaking of the ship. Check your device to see what you heard. Okay, uh, Insatiable did announce. That is that is fair. What did everyone yeah. hear? And can they be trusted? So Noob's still claiming that they're the final ghost. Which they could be. But also, if Noob is the final ghost, making Noob not a ghost anymore doesn't help. They're still stowaway. Oh no, no they, know the, they know the final ghost. They know the final ghost. Now you have to kill me. The disguised is treated as a human by the ghostly whispers, so they see the spread. Uh, sorry, the disguised is treated as whatever they are, so if they're human, they see the spread. If they're ghosts, they see uh, the identity of another ghost. But the count, the range, includes the disguised as the opposite of the team that they are. Yep. So we could have no ghosts and one disguised, and that would have come up as one to two for ghostly whispers. Hmm. And ghosts would not see uh, the person who's disguised. No, they'd, they'd only see true ghosts. What's the story ever done to you? Oh, I mean, I'm not sure about that. Noob has been desperate to go overboard. 
But what I don't understand is why Noop has been desperate to go overboard. Yeah, but the captain's now a ghost. Avast, Captain. You need a job for your crew. Swap the deck. Choose to obey or disobey now. So does it make sense to remove Chris as captain at this point? I mean, they're ghost. But do we want to remove Chris as captain by, by throwing them overboard? Or do we want to hope for a good event? I mean, we can... Oh, the event has been taken out oh, of our hands. Wishful. We've got a wishful. Oh, what's it going to be? I'm nervous. Our census is to be carried oh, okay. out to find out how many crew members are haunted. So again, this will include the opposite of the disguised. Yeah, so if, if the disguised... If we have a disguised, there yeah. will only be one ghost. Yeah, so that could be one ghost and one human disguised. Okay. The more rounds a player is in that field, or it could be two, it could be genuinely two ghosts. Of course, we could not have a disguised. Certainly, no one's come forward as the disguised. Avast, Captain. You need a job for your crew. I'm nearly the captain. Put the captives in the brig. Okay. Choose to obey I just or said, that's pretty now. good. I mean, we yeah. know I'm human. Just putting that out there. If we have a ghost disguised uh, and no other ghosts, the census would say no ghosts. Yes. Hmm. Time for an event, crew. What do you see on the horizon? Everyone. Check your devices to vote for an event. Mm. Not hugely helpful events, not gonna lie. Yeah. What we need is we need we need some lovely information events. Hmm. These are not information events. No, they're not. But there is a lamp from the audience. Oh, okay. We're not getting the lamp. Not even close to getting the lamp. Not even close to getting the lamp. But we are having a wasp nest, which might be a real gift for someone who's the cursed. A wasp's nest that was attached to the underside of the crow's nest. I'm a Not little bit wary that Chris Swan has gone over three times. Press the button on your Though they are, mm -hmm. we, we know they're the twins, no, wait. right? Uh, yeah. Okay. They're my twin. Okay. When, when we threw them over before, they flipped from ghost to um, human. It looks like someone failed to hide from the wasps and tripped overboard trying to flee from them. So Noob said they were cursed right at the start of the game. That's hmm. enough walking the plank and then the admittedly day. followed us up with just Don't kidding, but... I'm wary. I'm wary, I think, is what I want story. to say. We'll have to yeah, a job I, I was slow on that, that hiding from the wasps. But not as slow as Noop. Yeah. Captain, choose a job for your crew. Make sure you pick a job that only people you trust can play. I just, I think, you know, I, I think we're in, we're in risky territory. Choose to mm. obey or disobey now. Mm. 
Time for an event, crew. What do you Tempe's claiming rise? thief. Everyone, check your devices to vote for an event. Oh. Oh, these are. I mean, Ghostly Whispers is relatively harmless. But it doesn't really help us. Yeah. Two possessions. That's quite telling. Yeah. So if we do... Mm. It's fine. We've got the ghosts at work. We've got the ghosts at work. The dream scenario. That's that's a real gift from the audience, that is. Mm. Although to a certain extent, it depends who gets it. Okay, it's Chris. We can trust Chris, I think. Yep, Chris is currently human. No ghosts with the job icon to Chris Swan chose. Picked Anchor. Okay. And I'm um I'm the assassin and Tempe's claiming thief rather than disguised. Look out for players. So Anchor is Tempe, Matteo, and Sir Chris Swan. I don't think we should risk throwing anyone... You know when you're about to say things and then you're a bit like, don't don't say things that might like come back and bite you? Mm. I feel like we don't need to risk throwing anyone overboard. That's, that's my kind of vibe. Yeah, I... The, the captain is never included in Ghosts at Work. So even though the captain has a temporary anchor under their name, they wouldn't have been included in that particular event. Yeah. But I think I think Insatiable D has I think they were I think we confirmed them with the ghostly whispers and I don't think they've had a chance to become a ghost since. That was weird. I had to refresh to get my vote. Um I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna trust Insatiable. Insatiable could be a shapeshifter, but I think they've been in a job every day since we tested them. Mm. So I, d I don't think they've had the chance to shape shift. To shift their shape, or to shape their shift. Captain, choose a no, job no, for your definitely crew. shift their Make shape. Make sure you pick a job that only people you trust climb the rigging. I think Noob just wants to get out of Stowaway, and in fairness to Noob, he has been in Stowaway for a while. Hmm. It's all clean. So I still don't know most people's traits. Well done. Which is not usual. We normally know everyone's traits by the end of the game. Yeah, everyone's usually quite vocal about them. I think people were quite wary of giving information away. Yeah, it's going to be quite interesting. So Chris one, I'm always twin. So Chris one was human. I was human. human. Tempe was human. human. Oh, Insatiable D was the wishful. Human. 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 As we made it back to shore, I think we're all the human. Team wins. Yeah, I think but we probably are. I think we had a very smooth, a very like smooth, smooth ride. Human. The captain was a yeah, we did. The human team have that was nice and clean. Nice and clean, but it never felt safe. Yeah, it didn't. We had one ghost late game. Oh, Barrel Man was disguised. So, I, I was one of the OGs, and you just you chucked me overboard on a whim at the start. <laughs> it does always help. I, really sad, really sad. I was like, I'm, I'm really, I'm pumped for this, you know, I'm going to play the best ghost game I possibly can, and then you just, you just chucked me overboard, and I was like, well, well, 
Um, we had Crew's Choice, and we had uh, an Exorcism, and we voted MV, but MV wasn't a ghost. We threw Sir Chris One overboard, they were a ghost, and no new ghost was created. So we were, we were clean of ghosts on literally day two, day three. We had the Imposter, which swapped Chris One and Newt. We had Bloodlust, when Chris One uh, accidentally threw Noop overboard, which turned them into a ghost, so we threw them overboard. So all of this time, we were still suspecting ghosts because uh, Barrel Man was disguised, I guess, right? So all of the time, like, mm. we had the census. It said there were two ghosts, and we were like, mm. We had the wasp nest. Newt fell overboard. We had the ghosts at work. There were no ghosts. We had the human win. So Insatiable D was the wishful. Alex was the older twin. Lexente was innocent. MV was idle. Barrel Man was the newly revamped disguised. Tempe was the thief, I was the assassin, so Chris One was the younger twin, and Newt was the cursed. So Newt, Newt was the cursed. I said Newt was the cursed. <laughs> I said Newt was the cursed with my mouth, and nobody, yeah. nobody bought into that. I just, I. So Newt, Newt was saying about the whole like claiming curse before the traits were actually given out. Was, was that true, or did I just believe that? No, I think we just believed that. Oh. So, uh, Lexente, you claimed buy something from the outfit shop with your uh, with your PP coins. What would you like to buy? <gasps> New music. Or do you want to do you want to browse? There is not a lot on sale. There isn't. It's a low sale day. In fairness, you might have bought everything from a category that would have been on sale. Is it the Cummerbund? Is it the Cummerbund you're after, Lexente? Awesome. We can have a Cummerbund. And where have we got... Uh, da, 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 da. And let's have a skirt as well. Go on. Skirt's my treat. Test server is same clothes as real server. Yes, it is. Yes. They they transfer over. I am relatively certain the game I just made was the spooky jaunt. Yeah. I mean, you can check it. All events, all traits, 8 to 10, 2 to 3. Should I change it to 2 to 4? I mean, you can do. Crazy. Now it's a wild jaunt. Now it's a wild jaunt. It's still a jaunt, you understand. Yeah. So, we didn't actually see the shapeshifter or the interrogator there, but just the threat that they might exist was enough. Yeah. I just nearly said the room code. Um, there we go. Oh, <laughs> so no. Chris One says we had three interrogators. It's true, we did have three interrogators. You are often the cursed noob. It's true. Um, Matthew, do you want to change the? Text oh yes, the let yes. Go on, I will do. Just makes us look a bit more like just we know what we're I doing. Got the right one. Oh, what did I just... What was that called? It was a wild jaunt, wasn't it? It was a wild jaunt, yeah. Uh, da, 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 yeah. Okay, there's a new room code, Alex. Thank you. Swan skin. Oh my gosh, what would a swan even look like? From what I'm imagining, terrifying. <laughs> so the closest thing we've got is like the the turkey from um, Festive Feast. I've got the name of it. Yeah. And in fairness, that's already quite terrifying. 
Yeah. Okay, let's open up this lobby. I'm going to reveal the room code. All you need to do is go to the test server website um, and join the game. Anyone is welcome, whether it is your first game or whether you have uh, played with us many times. I'm going to uh, reveal the room code in five, four, three, two, one. It is RVKC. RVKC. And the link is there in the chat. So if we're lucky, we might have a shapeshifter or inter an interrogator today. Mm. This game. It's it's really interesting the way that just knowing you might have one makes you play completely differently. Yeah. The threat of the shapeshifter. Very... Yeah. Everyone was very closed off with their um, their claims for traits. We're normally more... so open about our traits, and everyone's like, "I'm not going to tell. I'm not going to say. I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to tell anyone." The interrogator has to choose a specific twin. They have to accuse someone of being the older twin or the younger twin. They can't just say, I think this person is one of the twins. Hmm. You have to get it right. You have to get it spot on. The interrogator is a skill. someone be telling you porky pies then they be telling you porky pies and part of the fun is trying to get the interrogator to waste their interrogations you know hmm especially if you're a ghost <laughs> it's kind of fun anyway but yeah Okay, as always, uh, once you're ready, if you can hit the Are You Ready button for me, get yourself that green tick in the lobby, and then once I have got a green tick from everyone, we will dive into the second game. And what will the second game have for us, I wonder? No, Noop, the curse is always three, three times overboard. If you are playing super, super short games, you might want to exclude the curse. Yeah. It's kind of one of those things. Super short games are a custom setting, so it's it's never going to be perfectly balanced in a custom game, I guess. Okay, we just need MV to ready up, and then we can we can take this game for a spin, see what traits everyone gets. Not that anyone will tell us, you understand. I might. <laughs> okay, we've got Captain Sir Chris Swan. Navigator, that's me. Gunner Lexente. Surgeon Alex. Shipwright Tempe. Cooper Barrel Person. Cook New. Cabin Boy Insatiable D. 
And MV is our stowaway. The world's most treasure-hungry pirate captain. Mad with power. Get... Okay. Let's see what this game has got for us. Okay, I am human and diligent. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. I. I'm human. I'm not going to say what my trait is immediately. Ooh, MV says they're psychic. <gasps> and MV's the stowaway as well, so we know they're human. Steer to the star. Lexente says, do only people who start out as ghosts get tainted? Yes, that is exactly how it works. So mm -hmm. you, you can't exceed your upper limit of ghosts by getting attainted. Yep. You also know that the stowaway can never be the tainted at the start no of the game. Today, it's it's true. Sailing. That little piece of information can really save you. Look out for players who were in rounds that failed and weren't in rounds that succeeded. So that was a nice all obeys and it was diligent, so we got a double for it as well. Yeah. Proud to say that I was in that. Did you say you're proud to say? I mean just so people know that I was in it. I'm just Oh, we have a we have an assassin mm. captain. That is that is a really good observation, MV. Well spotted. Let's see what they Conceptually, are. that's fine, but it's a lot of power for the assassin. <laughs> it's a lot of power for the assassin. Yeah. Avast, Captain. You need a job for your crew. Edge says that they are idle. Choose to obey or disobey now. So that is barrel person is idle. What if I was to say that I was the diligent? I won't Whoa. say that because whoever actually is diligent is then going to be like well, suspicious. You're not, and this is only going to go one space. So yeah, I mean that's so that's it's fair. it's just going to immediately make you look like a massive liar. That's yeah. that's yeah. your what if. Oh, uh, Edge says three obeys. No, no, no. Obey it. Don't fail it to confirm you. Obey. Obey. <laughs> <laughs> obey. Oh, gosh. Oh, I quite like that. Shall I, shall I fail this to, con to confirm me? Yeah, go for it. Just go on. Oh. Treasure overboard. We're only three away from home already. We're doing well. Everyone... Check your devices to vote for an event. Shroud of Fog, Time Warp, or Seeing Red. I have a feeling I know how this is going to play out. I won't say until it happens. Oh, do you know what the terrible thing about seeing red is? Mm. The, the <gasps> Captain Assassin. Yeah. Someone is going to be sitting there with all the votes in the world while everyone <laughs> else has a cheeky little blind vote. In the darkness, you won't be able to see who votes for who in today's round of voting. That's a little bit terrifying. Okay, so Chris wants says they're going to skip. But have they, though? That's the question, isn't it? That's the mystery. Who's That's the mystery of Shroud of Fog. Wrong. Yeah, it's a good point. If 
if we see someone go overboard with less than like half of the crew in it from the bottom yes like sensei once once the limit has been reached the voting still stops so you always know who the last person to vote someone overboard is hmm Part of the risk of voting for people, you know? Shroud of Fog doesn't give you carte blanche to just do whatever you like. Oh. Arr, oh, there it is. How to read Alex. I have been figured out. That was me. <laughs> yeah, I... I was waiting to see, like, obviously you, you saw it was me, and then, Alas, like, Captain, how long it took to realize that it was you going over. <laughs> so much for the human diligent. I, I'm not a human diligent. I, I was that. the human I'm diligent. The... Oh, right. <laughs> hmm. Oh, you should have said that before. I did say that before. Why did I vote for you then? Why it's a, it's a good for question, you? Alex. Why did you I'm vote still for human. me? Were you a ghost? I wasn't a ghost. Right, someone else is actually a ghost. Psychic says I'm human. Someone needs to confirm me as human quick. I think you must have become a ghost there. I genuinely I am a human. Everyone Check your devices to vote for an event. Ooh, ooh, hmm. I feel like we haven't seen Hot Potato in a while. Yeah. <gasps> the audience has got lamps again. <laughs> the audience always has lamps. I don't know whether I'd rather have the election or the hot potato. They're both so ex They're both so... Ooh. I mean, one helps you and one doesn't. I mean, they kind of both help me. The hot potato helps me the most. Yeah. Whilst unloading a chest, a pirate accidentally lit an exploding cannibal they found. You can pass the cannonball to another player. Oh, be careful. Nope, go. Don't be the last pirate holding it when the news runs out. And no backsies. Oh, that's a lot of holding it. Yeah. I. What's happening? <laughs> oh, okay. Um. Oh, I can't throw it back to you. Um, Envy, I didn't actually want to throw it at you. I just panicked. Oh, stop. I need to... T My one person to throw it to is Alex, and Alex keeps throwing it to me, and I can't backsee it to Alex, you understand? So I'm, no, I'm looking no, for no. Alex's face on my little things. He's not there. Oh, Noob will just hold on to it. Yeah. He can't be the cursed again. And a pirate's gonna win. <laughs> I mean, if they were human, surely he's not the cursed again. Tasty. Oh. That's enough walking the plank for today. No the thing honest. is, I don't think Newt was a ghost. It appears we have a story. We'll have to give them a job eventually. I just don't think Newt was a ghost. Yeah. Captain. Choose a job for your crew. Make sure you pick a job that only people you trust. I mean, I don't know if I'm confident enough to throw someone overboard over it. Put the captives in the brig. Choose to obey or disobey now. Okay. <laughs> Ghosts of her. Oh, the wishful. Oh. Are they a human or a ghost? 
That's a good question. Let's find out. The very fabric of time and space. Oh, is a in front of the ship. I will wish for as wish for a time Despite walk. The crew's best efforts, they cannot avoid being dragged into a time. This is claiming I'm wishful ghost. I was so wishful human. <laughs> When everyone awakes, they find I, themselves. I don't know what to make of that. Other, other than the fact that I'm back in stowaway, you understand. <laughs> Check yeah. your device to remind yourself of whether you are a ghost oh, or noob a human. Oh, is on in your timeline. I think the thing I'm trying to work out is who would have picked that. Hmm. It could have been Lexante. You need a job for your crew. So Lexante is saying that they did become a ghost after the hot Put potato when they threw Noop overboard break. in the other timeline, which would suggest Choose that Noop was human, right? Unless this is all lies, it could possibly all be lies, you understand. Time for an event, crew. Oh, Chris Swan says, I interrogated the psychic, Everyone they're not psychic. Oh, so I have a bit of a confession. It's always bad when I say that, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I was a ghost. When I was thrown overboard. Right, okay, so so we have a bit more credibility that I am still human then. But but the thing that's most important is the psychic said I was human when I was thrown overboard. Yeah. So so I believe that what Sir Chris Swan has just done then, the interrogation, I think that's correct. I don't think MV is the psychic. A wasp's mm. nest that was attached to the underside of the crow. So Tempe says Freaky three, Friday with the disguise. So anytime so the only thing that the disguise changes is the publicly is like revealed information. So Freaky Friday yeah, still works in the normal way. Either. They still actually are a human or actually are a ghost. It's just if their mm. team's reported. Oh god, I need to hide. Hide <laughs> <laughs> quickly. It looks like someone failed to hide from the wall. Oh no, Chris is the assassin! That is a really good point! Oh no, you are absolutely correct! We don't need anyone else going overboard today. Well, my my point still stands. <laughs> it appears we have a soul. What I said is still true. I've been sitting on that for a while. I was like, my moment to share this is gonna come. And Apparently it was then, but apparently it was not supposed to be then. Make sure you pick a job. Oh, I can play social deduction you. games. <laughs> I'm smart. Just about. Put the captives in the So I don't know what to make of that. I think I was I think I was lulled into a false sense of security by the time warp. Yeah. A mysterious sense of deja vu spreads Tempe says out. I'm claiming thief. Right. This is just Tempe Tempe saying I'm claiming thief is just like a Tempe thing, you know? And it is no longer possible <laughs> to travel back in time right now. Mm. 
Chris is, ta is climbing <laughs> Tempe. The more rounds a player is in that field, the more... Rounds... Envy could be a ghost of the fake psychic. It's true. But on the other hand, if Envy hasn't actually been interrogated... I don't know. But why... why um, Mm. Envy could be a ghost psychic. Envy could not be the psychic. There, there mm. are options. There are things. I just don't... Is Chris confirmed human? Hmm. I don't think so. No, I don't. I can't see anything that would have confirmed Chris was human. It's really difficult to bluff psychic, but my point is, MV was wrong when I was thrown overboard. Yeah, so it is possible that they were just bluffing rather than actually. Because I I said I was human when I was thrown overboard, so it's possible. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I was... Uh, that's true. Avast, Captain. You need a job for your crew. Said you were human for fun. Yeah, no, that... See, that does kind of make sense. I can kind of see the logic there. I mean, yeah... Not Choose logics are probably the wrong word, but I can I can I can follow the, the, the thoughts. We've got another wishful wish. Last time it was the time warp. Yeah, last time it, it... In fairness, the stowaway seizes the chance to open. Oh, it has to be group. new. It has to be. It must be. The wishful has got to be noob. Or, no, the wishful's got to be noob. Got to be. It it makes sense that it would be noob. I don't. I, uh, Noob says who? I, I would not want to have this decision. I don't know who the ghosts are. I've got no idea who the ghosts are. We have, to a certain extent, the couple of diligent rounds that we've had have worked really There's against us. A player over mm. Because that was the precious time that we needed. To figure things Don't out. Anyone else going I was a ghost when I went overboard, ghost Tempe. Boat. Yeah, thank you very much. I, I'm still very much. I was I was one of the OGs. Again. Again. <laughs> I was hoping to to gain people's trust by passing that first day as a diligent. Hmm. Which now, like I say, I mean, in fairness, if I'd thrown two treasure Maybe overboard then as well, that would also have been bad, but... Choose to obey or disobey now. Do we want this to get home? Yeah, I think we trust the captain. Do we, though? Because we haven't had any information. The only thing that I would say, the only thing I would say is I am the diligent. And, you know, we don't have forever to keep, like... Uh, I mean, Chris is saying I disobeyed. Noop saying I disobeyed. <laughs> I tried to get it to pass on four disobeys there. Time for Ooh, okay, so, wait. Because so people in the chat were saying one. that they disobeyed. Everyone... Check your devices to vote for an event. Oh, oh, these are options, because the island adventure is the most fun. 
Yeah, I'm the diligent, so anything I do is doubled. Oh. We need to not include you. <laughs> I don't know whether to go for message in a bottle or for island adventure. That's a real tough choice. Because the message in a bottle is just immediately useful, but also island adventure. Hmm. Silent Adventure. The compass of fate has spoken. I'm so right back, I'm just gonna be like two seconds. So I mean on the one hand, I'm a bit like maybe we should cleanse the captain, but on the other hand, how do we find out that the captain isn't tainted? Scales is always useful when we don't when we don't have any idea where the ghosts are. Oh, you're right, you're the assassin, so we can cleanse you. Yes, cleansing you as the assassin captain is perfect. But I'm willing to bet that if we do have any ghosts left, they're not going to be choosing the waterfall. Quite a few votes away from the waterfall. But there's a couple for the scales, which I think is fine. There's one for the hut, which was Edge, who rolled the dice. The cave was a bit of a ghostly pick. Did anyone see who was the cave? Is that Alex? That's just Alex being Alex. We have a treasure to waste. I think I think it's fine. I think it's worth doing. It's it's worth it just for the peace of mind. It's worth it for the confirmation. If you hadn't been assassin, if you hadn't been assassin, I think I'd have played that very differently. So now I'm inclined to choose the magic of the mystic, I think. Because we know the captain's human, so we know that any information that the captain gets is going to be truthful. That is the hut, Tempe, bottom right. Hut it is. So who, who are our suspects? Who do we think it might be? I um, it could be Alex, but only if he's out. Uh, I just oh, see I don't know so this is this is why and I know I pick this this is why sometimes I think scales is quite useful I think that that kind of broad brush approach is quite handy I've returned none I realize, I realize you said I've returned and I just replied by excitedly saying none. Yeah. So Alex, Insatiable D, and MV should all be human, I guess. 
Captain. Unla- oh, oh, unless they're disguised. Oh, good point. I'm not disguised. Thanks, Alex. I, I'm just saying I'm not disguised. You'd hardly say you were, would you? Lower the mate. It's fair, yeah. Choose to obey or disobey now. Again, do we want this to go home? Oh no, we can we can have it go home now, can't we? Yeah, if we if we trust the captain. Yeah, we've we cleanse the captain on the island. If, um, so, okay, okay. Edge says there's three three obeys, so we're good. We're good. The island saved us. Well done, crew. We've made it back to shore. Unfortunately for the story. They always lose, no matter which team they're on. Before we find out which team the captain is on, let's see which crew members are on the ghost team. Human. 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 Ghost. Oh, Alexente was a ghost. The captain's team wins. But what team is the captain? So, hang on. So, Lexente must have been a ghost before the hot human. potato the captain was and before the time war? The human team have won. Right? Yes. So, I was so me and Lexente were the OGs and you just you threw me over basically like on a whim again in day 2. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say to you. I'm not always the ghost. Just I just happen to have been for the last two games, you understand. I mean, it has worked out both times. I mean, it has. It has. Uh we had the hot potato, so Lexente threw it to Noob and then obviously wouldn't have become um would have become a ghost, but was already one. And then Noop, as the stowaway, used their shape-shifting powers to join the ghost team. But then, unfortunately for Noop, um, the Wishful wished for a time warp, which will have undone the shape-shifting. Yeah, it's it happens in your personal timeline, so the time warp doesn't uh so the time warp will reverse your team change and it doesn't return your charge because you've still used it. That's just unlucky. Mm-hmm. So then we had the wasp nest and you fell overboard anyway. So you'd have you've you know, you'd have become a human anyway. Uh you use your shapeshifting powers to join the ghost team again in day four. We had the wishful who used the overpower and threw you threw MV overboard, but of course then everyone was really sus of you, I guess. So then we had the island adventure where we cleansed Sir Chris Swan, um, but Sir Chris Swan we knew was was well we didn't know was human, but we now knew it was human. Um, and then Noop shifted back to human. Oh, nicely done, Noop! A good collection of shape shifting. So Sir Chris Swan was the assassin. Lexente was the tainted. Alex was the wishful. Alex was the wishful. It was you was. who wished for the time war. I, I was just messing with everyone. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I saw the overpower. I was like, I can, I can frame Noop as the wishful for no reason. I'm gonna do it. Tempe was the thief. Barrel person was the idle. Insatiable D was the gifted. I was the diligent. Noop was the shapeshifter, and MV was the psychic, as stated. Edge, it was good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Hopefully see you again soon. Okay, let's try and squeeze in. Oh, Chris has done still don't know why insatiable distance. Sorry, you did say that. I meant I meant to look and try and figure it out. And now I've closed the round history, so it is now gone. Oh. That's a bit sad. 
Uh, new, I, I guess I guess you had this like twin thing of like, well, if I'm chosen to play in, I can disobey, which is good. Um, and if I'm not chosen to play in, then I can I can shapeshift and it's fine. It was kind of stressful spamming the swap team final day. I was spamming. <laughs> oh, shapeshift is great. I love it. Right. Right, right, right. Let me grab the room code for you, Alex. Thank you. Oh, there's, there's something quite fun about this room code, but I don't really know why. I, I find it a little upsetting and I'm not sure why. Okay. Oh, I hope it's not like accidentally a secret swear. No, 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 no. I was, I was going to start saying cryptic things about it, but I feel a bit like I'm going to accidentally give away what it is. Although, in fairness, I'm going to reveal it quite quickly. Got wasps in it, you understand. <laughs> wasps in it is exactly what I was going to say. It's literally got wasps in it as well. That's the best part. Okay, I'm going to reveal the room code. Here it comes in five, four, three, two, one. It is... Fiwig, Fiwig, F I W G. It's a fig with a wasp in the middle. It's a fig with a wasp in the middle. The W is the wasp, you understand. It, it, it is, yeah. So, as always, take a couple of minutes to customise your pirates. We have two little spaces left if anyone would like to join us. There's no reason they're little spaces. They're, they're regular size spaces. No, no. You've said it now. I have, I, I realise, already said it. for code to be as well. Yeah, no, we're, we're usually pretty good for that. At least the very common ones, that they, they won't appear. Yeah. The very common English ones, I should say. Yeah. Okay, everyone has readied up. I'm just going to give it a little bit of time in case anyone wants to fill one of those last two, last two spots. Because, of course, the more people we have, the more chance we have of getting a shapeshifter or an interrogator. We haven't actually had an interrogator yet, have we? No, we've not. It would be quite good to get an interrogator. It'd be quite good if I was the interrogator. No, no, me, 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 me. I'll be the interrogator, thank you. Okay, looks like we are forging ahead with eight. We've got Captain MV. Gonna, me, Surgeon Tempe, Ch 
Shipwright Noob. Cooper, so Chris Swan. Cook Cookie. Cabin Boy Lexente. And Stowaway Alex. Oh, this is very sad. At least you know I'm not a ghost. That's true. That's it's true. The the we do know that. Mad with power. Get this crew. I Take am. I'm so not a ghost. I'm the pure. I am clicking on Streamlabs instead of the game. You understand. Oh, we already had three claims of the pure. There are two, two more ghosts. Oh, uh, I can see. Yes, yes, we have. We have had three oh, claims of pure. I, I am actually the pure. I don't know how to prove it to you, but we have an interrogator. They can probably prove that. Cookie is uh, making an immediate thief claim. Hmm. Ooh, Chris Wan is saying they're in the interrogator, maybe. But they just said they were pure. Okay. Noops the idol and says there is one disobey. Oh, you did say you were pure swan. That is true. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's two disobeys. No events did it. Who <laughs> said one diso? I'll obey anyway. <laughs> Never mind. Guess I didn't. A, a oh, first God. day with two disobeys oh. in is is pretty unusual. Hmm. I think it's also possibly me worth saying while I'm second in command. I'm also I'm the gifted. Oh, okay, right. I'm human and the gifted. I could steer us to gifted victory. I don't know. We we don't have proof, so you know. No, but you could hold out for proof. Nah. I hope we have more matches. Let's see what the So For realsies. I was a ghost, but I mm. obeyed. Right, okay. Captain. You need to choose a job. So we inadvertently just killed you again. For the third time. Third, third game in a row. For the third the time this evening, yes. Down a ghost. Yes. Okay. I mean, such is life, you know. Choose it happens. Or now. Nobody's claiming interrogator. But then maybe mm. maybe they don't want to claim interrogator. Or maybe we just don't have one. Maybe we forgot to add it to the game. No, it's there. I can see it. Oh, that was a diligent. Time for an event. Oh. What do you see on the horizon? Wait, so who have we not tested from? Everyone, who who was in the last one? Was it? it was me, Tempi, and Noop in the first one. Right, okay, so it's a completely different group. Completely new. Okay. Oh, look at this. What a collection of events. Can we not have all three of them? Like, one after the other? If we could have all of those events, that would be like the dream, you know? Change it so that you can change the slider to 200% and just get two events every day. Oh, 
I could be tainted. I'm not tainted. I'm gifted. And I'm happy to... Uh, I'm happy to demonstrate right that I'm gifted. Right I realise it's relatively place. difficult to do, but I'm, I can tell you all three of the options that I'm given and you can choose. You know? Um... I mean, you are getting that that opportunity. Yeah, no, 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 exactly. So that's that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm I'm willing to kind of il illustrate that as best I can. Who in rounds that failed and in might rounds chuck you a cheeky succeed. vote anyway. Oh yeah, might they... you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, anchor was bad. It would be good if we could figure out who is the diligent amongst those. Because it would be good to avoid the diligent, you understand. Yeah, apparently so. Diligent doesn't want to reveal. It's true. They're not coming forward. Uh, I have got cages, small flags, and large flags. Um, I mean, if you do cages, we can at least check diligent. Cages has got overlap with the diligent, and I don't feel good about it. I think if I was yeah. choosing this, I would probably choose la. Um... Mm, they don't. None of them feel great. Right, someone pick for me. Someone pick for me quick. The time is running out. I'd say large, large flags, but large flags. I th large flags is my vibe. I'll go for large flags. Lower the, <laughs> the chat is completely split. Well, this this is the problem, isn't it? This is this is what makes it so hard to prove that you really are the gifted. Because I, I could have just picked, you know, whoever said one that I happen to actually have. Mm. I didn't. I do have all three. I wasn't just picking randomly, no, no, you know? No. Yeah, no, I, I, I believe you. So, no. I did not expect that to pass. Why? <gasps> the wishful. Because there were two disobeys when Tempe and Newt were in a job with me, and I obeyed. Yeah, but you were... You went overboard. You were one of the... But I obeyed. I didn't. Why would... Why now would I be saying... Fortunately, there's a bowl of fruit ready to save the crew. Is there enough for everyone? Pass the bowl from pirate to pirate. So Each choosing who you want to see. I think this this feels like a stowaway wish. Yeah. And in fairness, if it is a stowaway wish, it's a great stowaway wish. Hmm. Tempe's claiming thief for a change. Has Tempe actually been the thief any of the times that he's claimed thief? <laughs> oh, it's me. Um, oh, I don't trust any of these people. Uh, I feel like this this cluster of four people. There's I've I've so much sus amongst those four people, like generally. Hmm. But I'm I can't be more specific than that, you know? Which is a little bit frustrating. Oh no. We're out of fruit and one crew member didn't get any. They've taken ill and gone over. If the pirate the crew left out was human, then their spirit will haunt the random so, pirate from the rest of the So, Tempe crew. keeps saying they're the thief, which is fine. But what we really need to know is whether you were a human That's or a ghost. Walk in the plank for the mm. no vote in the Remember, the, the thief only triggers when you get voted overboard. Stole. So you could still have been That's the thief. Give them a job eventually. Doesn't count for events. Don't, don't try and talk them back into it. <laughs> it's true. Captain. 
<laughs> Jumping back in on them, coin me. Sure I have got uh, anchors, large flags, and small flags. What have you got? Sorry. Anchors, large flags, and small flags. Hmm. I'd say anchors just because I'm in it, but I don't feel great about that. Group. No, I don't either. And I think there's there's a diligent around there as well, which makes me a bit yeah. anxious. I'd be inclined to choose large flags to try and avoid the the diligent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Large flags. Going large Lower flags. Yeah. Choose to obey or <coughs> now. We should really call it Zales. <laughs> Yeah. I was just what looking at it, I was like, it doesn't even look like a large flag. No, it doesn't. It looks like a sail. It looks like a sail. Time for an event, crew. What do you see? I mean that passed. Mm. Everyone, check your devices to vote for an event. Mm. Don't know what we want from this. Ghostly Whispers feels like the most useful. The problem is, the problem with Ghostly Whispers is, I will tell you the problem with Ghostly Whispers. The num the range of ghosts and the confirmation is not hugely useful to us right now. And mm. we'll be letting the ghosts find out who another ghost is, which might be quite useful for the ghosts. Yeah. I, d I don't know whether gi giving the ghosts the Ghostly Whispers gives them too much power. Helps them be too coordinated. Having said that, what else are we going to pick, you know? There were two votes for Wasp Nest. There were two votes for Wasp Nest, one of which was presumably the stowaway. Yeah. So, we know I'm human, so I'm not going to reveal. Oh, Cookie's saying let me reveal. Ghosts can be heard whispering over the creaking of the Anyone ship. in the middle of the ship, Take I'm happy for the reveal. I, I can reveal if you want. One to two. Oh, and like Sente said it, uh, basically Pretty much the, the same, same time. Aspect. What did everyone hear, and can they be trusted? I am deep in thought. Okay. What what's what are you what are you thought? The more around, the player is in that Someone's game. a ghost. Yeah. That's so about as that, far as I've got. That sort of area that kept failing before. Mm. With, with the diligence okay. in it as well. That's what's making me nervous. Yeah. Chris is saying, look at my shirt. See, this is the problem. Cookie was quite quick to, to try and make sure that someone else yeah. was responsible for disclosing the, the number. And is in that, that like, sus region in the middle. Hmm. But I certainly don't feel confident enough about that to vote. Let's hope we don't run too firmly ashore. No one's come forward as the psychic. Basically, no one's come forward with their traits at all. We are, we are traits poor. Cookie was the thief, which means Tempe isn't. I, I, I've come forward. I'm the pure. Let's see what the audience... Oh, they are the thief, though. Right, okay. Tempe says, I was OG ghost, claiming psychic, cookie was a human. I could believe all of that, I think. Captain, mm. choose a job for your crew. Make sure you pick a... I have got sails, cannons, or cages. So if cookie was the thief, then the diligent is probably... 
Surely it must be either Chris or Lexante? Cages, Cages is bad times. Yeah. I feel like Cannons is the pick here. Yeah, I think it probably is. I feel like Cannons is the best of those. I'm going to go for Cannons. Ready the cannon. I'm going to go for Cannons and regret it if it fails. Choose to obey or disobey yeah. now. So the only way it can be me is if I'm not gifted. Mm. Which I I think you are. If if you're not, you've been playing it very well. Oh. That was not Time great. It wasn't diligent though. Horizon? Wasn't diligent at least, but it wasn't great. Everyone, check your devices to vote for an event. Oh, this is three really useful events, but I don't know which is the most useful. I think bottles are the most useful, but if we... Whichever of these we get, right? We need to be really mindful of the disguised. Hmm. It's easy enough to say do or don't put the diligent in, but nobody has actually come forward and said who they are, who the diligent is. We know they're kind of roughly in the middle of the ship, but oh, so Chris one says, oh, so Chris one says I am disguised. Oh no, what did the audience pick? We had three great events. Please have picked something good. Oh, exorcism. Oh. Who do I pick? Who do I pick? Help the captain me. Needs to choose a player to exercise. Um, a I don't think it's a ghost. I think... How do, do we you... feel about... I, I feel like either Chris or Lexente are probably good picks, but I, have, we, have we got... So I would be more inclined to pick Lexente, but there's a lot of people in chat who think it should think Noop. I don't think it's Noop. I mean, maybe it's Noop. I think Lexente probably became a ghost when Cookie was thrown overboard. Oh my gosh, I just, I don't know who to pick, and I'm I'm running out of time so much. Um, can I choose Lexente? Is that is that relatively fine? Yeah, I, I'd be happy with that. The captain has chosen a player to exercise. They are now definitely human. That was I could have done with like a ten minute timer there. Look out for players. I'm still not sure I'd have known who to exercise, but I think I could have had ten minutes of thinking about who to exercise. Oh god, my phone's gonna die. Um I will be right back. Quickly um, to a charger. To boat, which is to yeah. Uh not me! We'll have to load the cannons ourselves from now on. Oh, maybe I should have, have exercised Noop. I feel like exercising Noop would have been safer than throwing him overboard. Oh, but Tempe the Psychic says Noop was a ghost. Let's see what the audience thought. So where where do we want my job to be? Where do we want to go? Because we're we're it's getting close. I th I think bottom of the ship feels feels good. I've got wheels, cages, and cannons. I could do cages. I could do cages. Okay, I'll do cages. Release the captives from the brink. 
Choose to obey or disobey. Cages it is. Okay, that's all obeys. And that has the diligent in. An event, crew. So, when was the last time we had a diligent? Everyone, I can't remember whether it's Lexente or Alex event. who's the overlap with the diligent there. Because that, that, I mean, we're down to 2-2, two, two, you understand. It is, it is a terrifying, terrifying time. Okay, Lexente says, yes, yes, they are the diligent. Good. You are probably getting excluded from jobs for a while. No offense. Having said that, it depends a little bit on what happens on the island. I say this. I'm assuming we're getting the island just because it has a lot of votes. Okay, we are. It's fine. So, what's useful? What's what's useful? We could do Magic of the Mystic. You can clean me, but you don't need to. Getting a treasure would be good because it turns it into an odd number. Yep, so that, that gives us an extra day even with the Diligent. That's a good point. Scales is also good. These are all very good points. Although, having said that, if we get a treasure and then use it to do a cleanse, we're back where we started, I guess. Okay, we need to work together. So, starting with Noop. Noob says B3 is hot. Cookie says D2 is boiling. So we should have this. Because it has to be one of those four spaces around D2, right? So it could be... Uh, if B3 is hot... C2 is hot... There we go. Got it. D3. Lovely. So, let's see. I think Scales was the other popular choice. I think Scales is useful. I think Magic of the Mystic is useful. It's a lot of votes for scales. Oh, I really noob. I thought that was going to be your pick for the vines then. I mean, don't get me wrong. As stowaway, I'd have done the same. But I was... That was a moment, you know? So, which side do you want me on? Left or right? I am I am happy to follow the follow what people would like me to do so that you believe I'm not a ghost. Go left, I can go left. This everyone else go right plan has not gone super well. <laughs> Cookie.
SSI. Yeah, that wasn't probably not the most useful in the end. We exercised Lexente. Alas, Captain, you need a job for your crew. So I have not got cages. I have got uh, wheels. I have got sails, and I've got flags. Wheels, sails, or flags. Disguise does work with the scales, yes. I th I think wheels. I think wheels is is my choice here. Steer to the starboard side. Choose to obey or disobey now. Clean obeys. Oh, now I almost wish the diligent was in it, right? What do you see on the horizon? Everyone, check your devices to vote for an event. Ooh. Those are tricky, tricky events. Um... Those are really tricky events. The message in the bottle from the audience would be much nicer. Ha! Huh, what do you know? So again, be wary because the, we'll see the disguised as the opposite. You find a message in a bottle with some secret information. So mine Check says Noop device. is a human. That comes as a surprise to nobody. Can everyone be trusted? Make sure to question what everyone is seeing on their device. So Chris one is human. Cookie is human. Tempe is human. Matteo is human. Lex is human. <laughs> Who is always playing in when something goes wrong? Yeah, Cookie Cookie got Sir Chris Swan. The question is whether Sir Chris Swan's disguised. Getting yourself in bottles is the best because you can lie about it easier. We'll have to load the cannons ourselves from now on. I hope we have more matches. No, Noop. You would not have been given the... As a ghost, you would not have been told that Chris was a ghost unless ghost, uh, Chris audience. was a ghost. The question is whether anyone believes you. Alas, Captain, you need a job for your crew. So I've got anchors, cages, and flags. Uh, sails, sorry. Anchors, cages, and sails. I'm not super, super keen on any of them. The psychic says Chris was a human, so the top end of the ship suddenly becomes sus. Uh, I could go anchors. Anchors? Anchors. Raise the anchor. Choose to obey or disobey now. <laughs> I think Chris might have claimed disguised. Which might have been Chris's downfall. Well done, crew. We've made it back to shore. Unfortunately for the stowaway, they always lose no matter which team they're on. A 
before we find out which team the captain is on, let's see which crew members are on the ghost team. So human. Newt was human. human. Cookie was human. human. Tempe was human. human. MV was human. human. Alex was human. Ghost. Lexente was and ghost. Again. Again? I think we, 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 you were the sole ghost last time, right? The captain was a human. The human team have won. I think you were disguised, um, Sir Chris won. Unless you weren't, and then I don't think that. Oh, you weren't. So, I was one of the OGs again, and you just threw me overboard again in the first day. It was very sad, but I did say I obeyed, and I did. It's true. Look at that first day there. Three ghosts. Three ghosts all lined up. That could have been, I mean, that would have been really funny. We had the imposter, I swapped with MV, and I was able to stay captain all game because I was the gifted, which was quite nice. We had the scurvy. Uh, Tempe took ill and fell overboard, so that was one of the ghosts. Uh, and that was from the wishful as well. We had the ghostly whispers. We threw Cookie overboard. They were a human, but no new ghost was created. So that means uh, it must have been absorbed by the pure. So Chris Swan used their shape-shifting powers to join the ghost team. Um, so, uh, oh, oh, Chris Swan, you were the shapeshifter. I've just realized. So, uh, so, so Chris Swan became a ghost on day, day five. Um, I exercised Lexente. Newt was voted overboard. They were a ghost, so no new ghost was created. So, so Chris, when you were the only ghost at day six, we had uh, the island adventure where we got a treasure and we... Uh, what else did we do? Oh, we did the scales, didn't we? Um, so, Chris, we were avoiding because they were a ghost. They managed to use their shape-shifting powers to go back to the human team. Um, but we still threw them overboard. So, yeah, you shifted back to a human just in time. But it was too late. We we still we still got you. Um, oh, that was that was a little tricksy. That was. Uh, and then we had a human win. Um, so when did Lex become a ghost? Oh, Lex became a ghost for voting Sir Chris overboard. Yes, that makes sense. Yeah, you absolutely did. Um, all three games tonight, really, just me as you know, streamer look, just getting voted overboard. Um, and being the ghost at the start every time, you know? It's, hey, what do you do? So, I was the gifted. Lexente was diligent. Alex was the pure. MV was wishful. Tempe was psychic. Cookie was the thief. Noop was the idol. And Sir Chris Swan was the shapeshifter. Hello, I'm back. Hello. Sorry, my phone is, like, completely dead. Oh, it no. won't charge or anything, so oh, that's no. good. Oh, that's sorry, bad. Sorry about just... Yeah. I, in fairness, I think it's just died of like, you know when you know when you need to charge a switch and it just takes forever. Yeah, it's just just like really really low on battery. Yeah, I think it's a combination of that and all of the charges I have are terrible. So. Yeah. 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 Hopefully so anyway, I'm back. back. Hello. Sorry minutes. about that. I was just there having a bit of a worry for a while. So. Yeah. No, I think that makes sense. Um, I would have probably done the same in your position. Yeah. So, we didn't have an interrogator again, right? Oh no, that's a bit sad. It is a bit sad. We've had we've had a good couple of shapeshifters. We've had a good couple of disguised. But we've we've made it through three games and haven't had any interrogators. Unfortunately, unfortunately, that is the way the cookie crumbles. But... We also did make it through all three of the games. We didn't have any any crashes. We didn't have any hangs. Um, mm -hmm. So that was that was pretty good. Quite successful beta testing. What did we? What do we think? Do we? Are we excited? Do we like having new traits? We haven't. There's some other stuff here that we haven't. Uh, we've obviously not been able to see quite so much. So we've got you know the tutorial as well. Um, hmm. And we've got the Watcher Pirate feature, but you know we do we do community games, so that's not uh, that's not necessarily for our stream, but but it would be for others. I think 
yeah, it's it's. I I guess it's important to recognise that it's um, the sort of biggest thing in the update is the tutorial, which obviously isn't. Um, yes, I say the biggest thing is it's between that and the traits. So it's it's kind of like yeah, we've we've got the new traits, but um, obviously the tutorial doesn't really affect us us veterans. It's true. <laughs> so so just to to give everyone a quick peek. Hmm. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, just so you, you have an idea of what to expect. Because I know, I know there's lots of people who are very excited about sharing Paper Pirates with their, their kind of their friends. Um, so I won't, I won't play through the whole of this game, you understand. I'll just kind of give you, give you a little bit of a flavour. I was just there, like, furiously trying to get into the game through a, uh, the a, a most treasure -hungry chrome tab and just... Oh, God. With power, get this crew from taking their share. So they threw him overboard. But the captain's spirit was vengeful and haunted the crew, wanting to return his treasure to the sea. So throughout the tutorial, the captain pops up um, with specific messages, and these messages need to be clicked through as well. So you know you have to really stop and pay attention to them, um, mm. and they they guide you through all the key bits of Paper Pirates. So you know checking your black spots, um, letting you know that your team might change over the course of the game. So you need to check it frequently. So hopefully, even if this isn't something that um, you guys are going to make use of, it's, it's the sort of thing either you can appreciate that it's going to be good for new players, or if you are introducing friends to the game, it's something that you can obviously sit through and talk through and that sort of thing as well. So, for example, the captain tells you about the link between the, um, the job icons on the captain screen and on the, um, on the signposts. Um, and and kind of helps you helps you choose. I'm not actually a ghost. You need to choose a job. I don't believe you. I'm genuinely not. Count the gold. Okay. Okay. Uh, and gives you advice on choose saying, you know, most days humans will obey, no. ghosts will choose disobey. I've obeyed, of course. Told you. Can we trust the captain? <laughs> this bit's quite nice. Oh no, the tutorial is going too well for too long. Can we trust the captain? <laughs> so yeah, like we say, obviously for those of you who have been playing for a long time, you know, who know the game very well, the tutorial is maybe not the next, most exciting new feature, but what we really want is to be able to welcome new players to, to Paper Pirates and to make sure that people really understand the, you know, the delicious complexity of the game, all of the various kind of rules that go into, into the social deduction aspects. Look out, the the so that, that will come up. It will, but I don't think I'm going to play the game that long. No. <laughs> In fact, <laughs> I'm not going to play the game any longer. That's fair. Because, yeah, thing, things like the stowaway can't start as a ghost, It's it makes sense once you realise that the stowaway always respawns as human. 
But until that point, it doesn't really make sense for the game, I guess, so... Yes. We, we've tried to organise it all in a nice way. It's, it's, yeah, it's quite nice. It introduces you to a variety of the mechanics. Um, it has a couple mm -hmm. of events in there as well. It's, yeah, it's a, ni it's a nice way for a first-time player um, to, to kind of appreciate what I there is in Paper Pirates. Mm -hmm. And the, the captain also pops up uh, throughout the game um, if you're new as well. So the captain introduces you to the captain's log and the shop ship and so on and so forth and tells you you can, you can buy some, some outfits from the outfit shop. Which is all quite nice. So Alex, I think, needs to head off. I can run one more game. Um, I'm quite happy to do that. You sure? Yeah, yeah. Oops. Okay. Well, I I will say goodbye then. I guess. Um, yeah, I've I've yet to eat, so. <laughs> and it's it's quite late, so I will have to shoot off. But no worries, thank Alex. You for I will. I will see you all again next week. Um, Bye yeah. for now, Alex. Catch you later. Have a good rest of the stream, everyone. Oh, I've forgotten how to leave. <laughs> see ya. So the only thing is, I really don't want to. I don't want to take off traits to make the interrogator like likely to happen. I guess I could take the twins out because that that gives us potentially two more spots. But everything else, I kind of the the more roles you take out, especially with the interrogator, you know, the the less kind of the less exciting it is. So I think we just have the look of the draw. We just see what happens. And just hope we get an interrogator this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, go on then. I can be talked into taking out the assassin. Even though it's my favourite one. And we can take the innocents down as well. So now there's now there's twelve. So if we can get a full game. Which might be difficult because we've gone over time, but if we can get a full game, we should have a really good chance of getting uh getting um an interrogator. I forgot what it was called for a moment there. So I will hop in. And then I will reveal the room code. So room code's coming up. Five, four, three, two, one. There you go. And the link is in chat now, if you would like to join. And hopefully we'll get the interrogator. Fingers crossed. Okay, we've already got seven. Seven's pretty good. The code is almost cape. It's true. I would pronounce it cape, I think. Okay, we'll just we'll leave it a minute or two just in case anyone is is wanting to join any of those last three little spots. Hey, we've got Tempe. I really hope we get interrogator. If we do, we have to be really nice to the interrogator and make sure they have plenty of time to do their interrogations. I'm just going to grab a drink real quick. I will be one second. Tunatin, hello, it's good to have you back again.
I surely, surely cannot start as a ghost for the fourth time in a row. Surely. What I'm really hoping is that I start as the stowaway, so I don't just don't start as the ghost, but everyone knows I'm not the ghost. That's my dream. Okay, we've got nine. So we've got like a nine out of 12 chance of getting the interrogator. Shall we go for it? Shall we run, run with it and see what happens? I've got all my fingers crossed for interrogator time. Okay, let's go. Let's see if we get the interrogator. Come on, I can feel it. I feel good. So, oh, I'm the captain. Oh, I'm so going overboard. We've got Navigator Tuna Tin. We've got Gunner MV. We've got Surgeon Insatiable D. We've got Shipwright Noop. We've got Cooper Lexente. We've got Cook Zan. We've got Cabin Boy Tempe. And Stowaway Sir Chris Swan. So I just want to make it really, really clear. I am so oh, human world. this time. I know I haven't been in all the other games, but I really am this time. Get this. And I am sadly not the interrogator. Two, two. Or a ghost on board. Captain, choose a job for your crew. Make sure you pick a job that only people you trust. Um, so I guess first day doesn't make a lot of difference. Uh, so let's go for cannons. The cannons. Choose to obey or disobey. Oh, so Chris Swan, you'd have been a good interrogator because you started to stow away. The problem is, we could have an interrogator and they just don't want to say that they're the interrogator. We'll never know until the end of the game. I know, I reckon, I reckon if I was the interrogator... I don't know. I can't decide. I can't decide whether I would want to tell everyone or whether I'd want to keep it a secret. I think there's like... So this this, this reminds me of the time when uh, we were testing the Wishful and I got really excited and told everyone I was the Wishful straight away. Um, and then I was a ghost and I could have wished for a possession, but I obviously couldn't because I just told everyone I was the Wishful. Saddest thing that's ever happened. It was literally, I think it was our first game with the Wishful. And it was like a textbook, like how not to be the Wishful. Unbelievable. I haven't gone overboard. I'm genuinely human as well. I feel like the more times I say it, the less believable it is. Oh, doing a Matteo was funny. I was I was I was happy with that. I was just I was trying to be so clever. So 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 I've got sails or cannons. I mean, it feels like cannons is good. We don't really learn anything if we do cannons, but having said that, if it's safe, why would I pick anything else? Choose to obey or disobey now.
Yeah, so like, like Lixente says, sometimes you, you have to think about the long game, you know? Just because you're not a ghost now doesn't mean you won't become one later. And and sometimes, you know, what you what you say now might become a problem later in the game. So I even think that's how my wishful played out. I think I was a human wishful at the start, and then I became a ghost, and then I had the possession, and I was like, I've given away all my delicious secrets. Yeah, the psychic's another one where it's really like you want to come forward and be like, hey, I'm the psychic. But you just, because of the team changes, you know, you want to be really cautious about it as well. I'm not the gifted this time, no. I am, um, yeah, that was just chance. I just, I just had the same icon. The stowaway seizes the chance. Oh, that's an overpower. That's good times for Sir Chris Swan. That is real good times for Sir Chris Swan. We don't need anyone else going overboard today. Nice. Nice. It appears we have a stowaway. We'll have to give them so, I was action. human. I was genuinely human. So, Chris, when you said pure reveal, is that saying that you are pure? Because the only thing that could save you right now is you being pure. Steer to the star Okay, so Sir Chris one is saying that they are pure, which means even though they just overpowered me and threw me overboard, and would definitely have been a ghost, if they were pure, then they're they're probably not. Let's follow Bays. Time for an event, crew. What do you see on the horizon? Hmm. Everyone, check your devices to vote for an event. This is not a great collection of events, you know? I mean, in fairness, it's a reasonably good collection of events for me as the stowaway. It's not a good collection of events for us as a, as a crew. Freaky Friday is informational, that is true. I obviously went for the scurvy, because, you know, if I can throw someone overboard, I am not a stowaway anymore. That's what I want. It's a shame we didn't get the island adventure from the audience. That would have been nice. So we got the scurvy. So as long as it either starts with me or someone passes it to me, right? But I'm the stowaway. Why would we not throw it the to me? The crew has been at sea for some time and are starting to feel unwell. Fortunately, there's a bowl of fruit ready to save the crew. Is there enough for everyone? Pass the bowl from pirate to pirate. Yeah, it's always when people are like so desperate to be thrown overboard. It's almost like a reverse psychology play, isn't it? You're like, is 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 the strategy to just be like, please throw me overboard, please, you know? So Chris one is very, very adamant that they are pure. Tempe's claiming thief for a change. I'm still not convinced any of your thief claims today have been have been true. Oh, Noop is counter claiming that thief. They've almost all been true. 
What, like, was one of them true, maybe? Oh, no. We're out of fruit, and one crew member didn't get it. They've taken ill and got overboard. If the pirate the crew left out was human, then their spirit will hold I think Tempe was probably human, you know? That's enough walking the flank for today. No voting, the Arties. It appears we have a story. I just, I just get this feeling that Tempe mission. was probably human. Yeah, I don't think it was a great choice, Lexante. I really don't. But it's scurvy, you know. That's that's the nature of it. I can't believe you threw me overboard again. I wasn't a ghost. Sticking to that. So that's oh, that's a good point actually. I should be making a bit more noise about that. We we need like if we do have an interrogator, it would be great to confirm whether Sir Chris Swan is a pure or not. Time for an event, crew. Although having said that, they've been in a couple of jobs and they've all they've they've obeyed now a couple of times. So. My trait is still secret. Tempe wants the stowaways brawl for some reason. Some mysterious and strange reason. Quite a few votes for it, actually. And a whirlpool from the audience, which is also a little bit of a gift. It's the whirlpool. It's like a stowaways brawl, but it's, you know, you don't even have to risk it. Unlucky for Tunatin, though. The ship falls into a whirlpool, and everyone reverses ranks in the confusion. I'll, do you know what? I will take that, that large promotion. I am not complaining about that you know, huge rise to second in command. Who is always playing in when something goes wrong? Oh, I felt. Um, see, I, I really want to confirm to Chris Swan as the pure, but either we've had yet another game without the interrogator. Or our interrogator doesn't want to come forward. Mutiny! Ooh, I... Ooh, what was that? And Tempe is the thief! Can you believe? So, Tempe was fully human there, after that whirlpool. That was not a smart move. Avast, Captain. You need a job for your crew. So, I've got cages and I've got rigging. And... Part of me is a little bit like I'm going to choose cages, and then if it fails, I know what I'm going to do. Put the captives in the brig. Choose to obey or disobey now. This is this is putting the pressure on you. Understand? I mean, it's clean, and it was diligent. Time for an event, crew. What do you see on the horizon? Everyone. I think the, the pure claim might be good. So, two theories. One, the pure claim is good, and Sir Chris one is human. 
Two, the pure claim is a lie, and so Chris one is playing the long con to try and get to captain. Ooh, it sounds like Exente has information. <gasps> Lexente's the interrogator! And Lexente's information is numbered! I'm so excited. That's smart. That's smart, Lexente. That's some good use of the interrogation, I have to say. I don't know what to pick. I don't know what to pick. Um... As exciting as the island adventure is, it doesn't feel like it's what we needed right now. It's what we've got, so, you know, we, we'll take it, but... So, I think it's a bit sad to lose a treasure. I don't know who to cleanse either. Apparently nobody knows who to cleanse. We're all just sitting here not voting for anyone. It's true. I'm not tainted, but I realize that's just me saying words. And an interrogation would be would be much better to confirm that I'm not tainted. I don't know what to pick. I don't know what to pick. I do know what to pick. It's fine. Imagine Lex being tainted, seeing me as ghost, and claiming interrogator. You got two vines picks there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Right. Okay. We need to pass this. We need to pass this. I'm going to type people's names in chat as they come up. I, I'm going to try at least. Zam. Tunatin. New... Zan again. Tempe. Tuna Tin again. Noop. MV. This is not going to happen. So Chris Swan. 
me. MV. Oh, that's MJV. We are nowhere. We were not even close. We were not even close. That was a sad thing that happened. So, I wasn't ghosted, but you only have my word for that. If I don't pick Lexente to play in today, they can confirm I'm not tainted, which is, you know, some way to it. So I've got rigging and I've got chests, but in fairness, we now know nothing. Basically, the only thing that we know is that Chris is not, um, not a ghost. So I'm going to choose chests. Maybe wait to play in until you get confirmation um, from Lexente about whether I am or am not the tainted. Choose to obey or disobey now. Not tainted. Oh, it had a diligence in it. Oh. I didn't disobey. We could pick spy. You could spy on me. We could pick spy and you could spy on me. I could be disguised. I am not disguised. <laughs> Again, you've really only got my word for that. You can, if, if, if the interrogator still has a charge left, you can use it to confirm that I'm not the disguised. Do you know what? I can, I can just, I can, mm, I can tell you what I am. I think it's fine. I'm the cursed, right? And I'm not I'm not going to get a cursed victory. There's not enough days left. been chosen to spy on the crew. So I'm I'm here for my my human win. I've I've been keeping my trait close to my chest because it's cursed. Who did they choose? Can they be trusted? Who is always playing in when something Everyone's wrong? just like completely tense, completely silent, holding their breath. Waiting for Zan to tell us what the results of the spy were. I feel like it was... <clears throat> Why would you not spy me? It, it could have turned me into a ghost. It didn't. One in nine chance.
Mutiny! The logic makes sense, but I don't think it's smart. Let's see what the audience thought. I completely get where you're coming from, but I don't think it's smart. Captain, choose a job for your crew. Make sure you pick a job that only people you trust can play. So who's going to disobey this for me so I can get out the barrel? Diligent was someone kind of in the middle-ish? Or was it someone near the bottom? No, it was someone near the bottom. It was like MV, Tuna Tin, that kind of area. I think. Yeah, lad Ladder, I'm pretty sure, covers the Diligent. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, is Noop the idol? Noop, are you idol? We... Didn't we do something with Noop? Didn't we cleanse Noop in the cleansing waters? Noop could be the tainted. Oh, I bet Noop's the tainted. Oh, Lexente says Noop is not the tainted. Time for an event, crew. So hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Everyone, check your devices to vote because for an event. Chris Swan has just said that they're a ghost. And you might say that's a double bluff. But I'm more inclined to believe that. I think there's been some real galaxy brain plays going on. And I think we need to really, really second guess everything that everyone has said all game. Except me. I've only ever told the truth. So that's a suspicious soup. So, tuna tin. You can throw the soup away. You can throw the soup away. I think I'd vote Sir Chris one overboard. I think I'd throw Sir Chris, Sir Chris one overboard. I think. It seems that the soup is a little too spicy today. Probably all the I don't think they're the pure either. I th I think it all just unraveled just then. We don't need anyone else going overboard today. We'll skip vote. It appears we have a stowaway. We'll have to give them a job eventually. <laughs> this is this is one of those games, isn't it? I don't think Zan's claimed a trait. That's the danger. I know I'm out of stowaway. I'm out of stowaway. That's what I wanted. Choose to obey or disobey.
Go sitters. Go sitters. In fairness, in fairness, the ghosts deserved a win. Since all the traitors gone overboard, the ghosts have won. Unfortunately for the story, they always lose no matter which team they're on. Sans said they're psychic. Since the ghosts have won, let's find out which crew members. So I was I was human. I was like medium on board with Sir Chris One being the pure. Um but that like last minute play to try and get Noop to to obey. Ghost. Swung it for me. Ghost. Oh my gosh. Oh my. That is a lot of ghosts. That is a lot of ghosts. I, I'd have possibly been better off staying as the stowaway, right? So, we had MV and Insatiable D as our OGs. We had the uh, overpower, so Chris1 overpowered me and threw, them, and threw me overboard. And yeah, stayed, stayed human. Um, Lexente interrogated Sir Chris1 to see if their traitors are the pure and discovered that they are. We had the scurvy. Tempe fell ill, uh, took ill and fell overboard. And that made Xan a ghost. We had the Whirlpool and then voted Tempe overboard. They were a human, but no new ghost was created, so that was absorbed by the pure. We had the Island Adventure where we... Uh, what did we do? We had... Um, I remember we did the shipwreck and it went badly for us. We must have done something else as well. What was the first, first pick? Oh, cleansing waters. We cleansed Noop. Yeah, we cleansed Noop, but we didn't. We didn't really need to. Lexente interrogated me to see if my trait is the tainted, and I, it, it wasn't. Um, Zan spied on. So Zan was a ghost because of the yeah, the slightly dodgy spy. I should have pushed harder on that. I should have known. Um, you threw me overboard. No new ghost was created because it was absorbed by the pure again. Because it's just so many votes versus so few votes. Lexente interrogated Noop to see if their traitors are tainted and discovered that they're not, which in fairness, that was a good call because I was pretty sure that Noop was the tainted around about this point. Um, but as Insatiable D said, Noop was providing good cover for, for those disobeys. And then Noop, Noop was the shapeshifter and managed to shapeshift right at the end. Really lucky to have not been put in a job there. Just jump straight in. And in fairness, you know, with a 1-1 like that, with a 1-1 like that, you joined the ghost team. But that was that was taking a leap of faith on Zan being a... Well, I don't even know. Oh my gosh. So Zan was the psychic. Lexente was the interrogator. Noop was the shapeshifter. Insatiable D was the disguised... MV was the Tainted, Tunatin was the Diligent, Tempe was the Thief, I was the Cursed, and Sir Chris One was the Pure. Yeah, Noop, I bet. I bet. I don't... Do you know what? If I was there and I was the Shapeshifter, I just don't know what I'd have done. I'd have probably... Was that the only time you shifted as well? It was, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Ah, how exciting is it though, right? How good do the sh does the shapeshifter and the interrogator make make trait games? They really add a lot. They add uh, they add so much. Um, they are, yeah, yeah. They really make the game something else. Definitely. Awesome. Well, thank you so much um, to everyone who's helped us test uh, three point two today. Thank you to those of you who have uh, joined us in games, joined us in chat, and joined us in the audience. Um, and thank you especially for joining us at the slightly later time um, that we were streaming at uh, this week as well. So I hope you uh, you enjoyed the stream. 
Um, as always, Paper Pirates is available on Steam if you would like to buy your own copy. Um, 3.2 is coming out soon. If you do have your own copy and uh, would like to but haven't yet, um, leaving a review is one of the best things that you can do to increase the visibility of the game. Um, and obviously, you know, increasing the visibility of the game is really important to us. Um, because more people playing Paper Pirates, growing the Paper Pirates, fan the wonderful, fantastic community um, is, is really, really important to us uh, and makes more fun people to play. Um, so uh, 3.2 is only available to, to us right now, um, but hopefully it will be launching very, very soon. Um, I didn't spot any huge disasters during this stream, um, so hopefully we should be able to ship it relatively soon um to you so exciting times ahead um we will be back again next week on saturday um hopefully at the normal time but uh as always if you follow us you'll get yourselves a notification whenever we go live so if our timings do change a little bit as long as you're following um, and you have your notifications on then you can see us so thank you again to everyone who played i hope you all had fun i hope you enjoyed all of the new additions in 3.2 and I will see you again soon. Have a fantastic week. Take care and uh, bye from me for now.